In your class, you have white kids in your class, right? Yeah, brown and white. Brown and white. Imagine if you enter your class and your teacher say, Emma Comfort, you cannot sit in the front seat. You cannot sit anywhere close to the white kids. You have to always go to the back and sit by yourself with other brown kids. Then also imagine in the school, if you're supposed to use a bathroom and they say, no, Emma Comfort, you and everybody that looks like you cannot use the same bathroom like every other kid. The all the white kids get to use the same bathroom and all of you get to use a very crappy bathroom. Then also imagine every day of your life having a big chain around your neck. A big chain. Why? That is basically like choking you every day of your life and as you're walking with those chains okay you're being flogged but how about we watch the jungle on chain mm -hmm. no thank you that will scare me <laughs> life in a world that keeps changing think that it's progress you're making copy and paste pretty faces all the time picture so perfect we play through only because you set up the angle web that you we've got us tangled caught in what's before our eyes show off your fantasy reality whoa that's yours but i'll keep doing mine So, oh. mommy, they call that segregation. Oh, yeah. So, he said he had a dream where that segregation was abolished and everybody was equal and was able to <laughs> stay together <laughs> and not being separated. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I love and, the fire. And Martha Luther King mm -hmm. uh, sound. <laughs> Mm -mm. Yeah, he died. Mm -hmm. How did he die? Who died? Uh, I don't know. Martha Luther died? Yeah, Martha Luther, Martin Luther King died. Martha Luther King? Why did he die? He died in 1968 and he was assassinated. He yeah, pe died. People would talk, I think. People it's shot because him. Because people were killed. talking to Machuan. Oh. They shot him with the gun and killed him. Why? Who would ever do that? Mm, there are people that didn't like what he was preaching. People that wanted the segregation and the laws of inequality to remain the same. So those people wanted to assassinate anybody that wanted to change those laws. So they assassinated him because he was more like the leader of the movement to abolish slavery and segregation. Well, there's new thing I have to tell you. Mm -hmm. Since the pe the pe the people believed the people believed King and uh, Mar Martha King G M Martin oh. Luther King G King and decided to change the unfair laws and now everybody was not separated anymore they were equal together exactly so things have changed because of his um ability to do that movement and convince people a lot of people got convinced okay so even though they killed them there were still good people that came around and changed the law and now Aww. we have good people now we are mixing up with everybody there's no more segregation the inequality is almost not there anymore so things have changed things are better now so you can shake the hands of everybody you see brown but and no. white no, only if there's no coronavirus. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Emma, do you know what slavery is? 
No. Now, do you want to tell her what slavery was? Mm. <coughs> slavery was more like day in the golden oh, days, long, 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 long time ago. Daddy, you're okay. talking like a cowboy. <laughs> 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 and you were talking like a... Yes, I'm a cowboy. I'm from Texas. Texas. I want to talk to you. But daddy, you mm. cannot just come from Texas. You came from Nigeria <laughs> to Texas to California. <laughs> Mommy, I was born in Nigeria, but I'm a Texan. So we're still Texans, right? <laughs> yes, remember you were born in Texas, so you're a Texan. You're a cowgirl. Oh, yeah. I didn't know you were born in Texas. Yeah, you were, you were born in Texas. Zuri was born in Texas. So we're cowboy people. So we were born in Texas. So we're cowboy people. Yeah. Yeehaw! Yeehaw. <laughs> and, that, and, that, and now that's why I love Chef Carl's Wild Work. He's a cowgirl. Right. He's a sheriff. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's go back to what we were talking about earlier, okay? During those old days, long, long, long time ago, okay, there were rich people, okay, but those rich people were mainly white people, okay, so, and they had farms, or some big, big farms, so farming was basically the way of life then, that was mainly the way they eat, the way they trade. They farm up something and they trade up that thing to get what they didn't have. So trading was, I mean, the farming was basically uh, the way of life. Daddy? And somebody had to work on that farm. Daddy? Hmm? Who was um, who were the farm, what were the farmers trading? Food. They, they were getting trade food. by butter. So, so they said they farm and they get let's say jalapenos right what does and ha the, what does jalapenos mean Jala no, say tomatoes. <laughs> jalapenos is like pepe pepper kind of pepe um, okay but what they, about tomatoes but, let me use tomatoes as an example okay so they will get tomatoes and they will go give it to people that don't have tomatoes <coughs> and get the things that they themselves <laughs> didn't have okay so that's called trade by butter. Let's say that I, I make fun, okay, and I have a lot of fun, and you have a lot of monkeys, right? Um, and I want uh, a monkey, and you want fun, so I'll give you fun, and you give me monkey, and that is called trade by butter. You give me what I have, I mean what you have, I give you what I have. Um, but that that means sharing, right? Um, uh -oh. not really sharing. Sharing is. I have funds and I give you one and we go. That's and you don't sharing give me and you don't give me anything. But trade by butter is when I give you something and you have to give me something in return. That's called trade by butter. But what happens if if if, if you give if if if, if the farmer is if, if the farmer is the tomatoes mm -hmm. and then we give them anything. That's called sharing. But that's what that's not what they were doing. They were trying to trade by butter so that they could go with everything that they needed. Okay. So in these large farms they needed somebody to be working on it. So they wanted to go get people that would come and work on that farm. But there was one mistake they made. They went and took some people by force. Took to, some people? Yeah, That's by what? force to come and work on the farm for them. Why? Do you know where they got the people from? They went to different different countries. <gasps> and most of the countries were in Africa. So they got mostly black people. Oh to my come goodness. And no, work on the farm no, for them. No, I wouldn't I, I would never see them. I don't want them to get me and get me to work on the farm. I don't you know how them to be a farmer. To be, well, oh, that's the oh. difference between asking you to please come and work on my farm 
I'm and forcing you. forcing you to come and walk on the farm and beating you on top of it. And killing you on top of it. Oh, that means they will never have anything. But what will mm. happen? But listen, mommy, listen. So they got those people and they brought them to the farm to come work for them. And even when those people were working on the farm, they were still flogging them. Okay. So that was called slavery. And they wouldn't let those people go. They will always want them to farm and farm and farm. They were also feeding those people. They were also housing those people. But taking somebody by force to come and do your domestic work um, I think they is do. called slavery. But daddy, hmm? uh, um, I think the farmers took somebody without asking punish, permission. permission. Yeah, if you don't ask for permission, then that's called slavery. So that's what they did. And a lot of people died in the process. I will never and that slavery continued for a long time. Yeah. But that's not what, the, that's not the worst thing. The worst thing was they saw those people as inferior people. So they decided to separate their daily, their day to day activities from those people. So they will tell those people, okay, because you're inferior, you go to this bathroom, and we are superior, we'll go to this bathroom, right? Uh, so that's what you call segregation. And they also told them, hey, if we get in a bus, you are inferior, you're supposed to stay in the back, and we are superior, we're supposed to stay in the front. Wait, 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 wait. So does that, does that mean the front stay? In the back? Yes, the colored people will stay in the back and the white people will stay in the front. So the brown people like the farmers are going to stay in the back? Stay in the back of the bus? Because they are... Then they were not called farmers, they were called slaves. Mm -hmm. Yes, and then and then they, they will not be... It's because... Yeah. What are they doing? What and, they, they? and they weren't going to the same school. Okay, they will say superior people will go to this school and the slaves will go to this school and the school for the slaves is always inferior what okay. does that mean what does inferior mean i heard you saying inferior two times okay so inferior means <clears throat> things that are nothing things that you call nothing that are not worth anything okay like you say oh you know what this thing is not worth anything it's just crap right Say that then it's in figure. I'm going to open the window. And, and, and what does that have to do with it being in class? Hmm? What does that have to do with being in class? Exactly, <laughs> because they see those people as nobody. They see those people as very inferior and not worthy of staying in the same class with them. So they say, hey, you're going to go and stay in your own school, okay, because it's inferior. And we're going to stay in our own school and have everything we need. And okay. you go over there and whatever okay. you see over there, you do. Um, Can I come in? Is it because, is it, is it because, is it because, like, Let me give you an since, since the farmers are... Uh, Colored people, slaves. Yeah, slaves. It's, it's, and they will not be nice to the to the people no, in. It's not because of it. It's because they are colored people. Emma, let me give you an example. You see how how yellow your skin is. Yeah. Bring your hand. You see how brown your skin is, right? Imagine if I was not your mom, okay. And both of you are okay. White. No, no, Dior has a fairer skin. Okay, I don't want to call her white because she's not white. But imagine if Dior was white, right? Okay, yeah. in your class, you have white kids in your class, right? Yeah, brown and white. Brown and white. Imagine if you enter your class and your teacher say, Emma Comfort, you cannot sit. In the front seat, you cannot sit anywhere close to the white kid. You have to always go to the back and sit by yourself with other brown kids. Then also imagine in the school, if you're supposed to use a bathroom and they say, no, 
Emma Comfort, you and everybody that looks like you cannot use the same bathroom like every other kid. The all the white kids get to use the same bathroom and all of you get to use a very crappy bathroom. Then also imagine every day of your life having a big chain around your neck. A big chain. Why? That is basically like choking you every day of your life and as you're walking with those chains okay you're being flogged but how about we watch the jungle on chain mm -hmm. no thank you that would scare me <laughs> <laughs> why did you want to tell her those parts mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. i want to watch it not up to that level yet. No, it's better she understands it now. Mm -hmm. You know, I used to be scared of teaching her about color, mm -hmm. but every day I watch movies and they explain that it is better you understand what racism is than pretending like it does not exist. Like left to me, I would raise them mm -hmm. to think that it does not exist because I'm scared of putting them through that. Mm -hmm. But after I talk to Tunena, mm -hmm. the thing is. <coughs> Racism now is not as bad as what it used to be. Okay. Even in, even though it exists, okay, mm -hmm. it exists in individual cases, right? Mm. The law has already abolished it. So if you get them to start believing in that, they grew up with it, right? Mm -hmm. And they tend to act that way. You can it, it you can tell them about the past. Mm. without making them act it out in their, I mean, correctly. I mean, okay, let me understand something. Today. So you can tell them about the past in mm. a way that they don't actually see what the past looked like? No, you can tell them about the past and have them know about the past, but not act like the past. Yeah, but you know, she's not acting like the past. She just, it's just for her to see what the past actually looked like, what those people actually went through. Yes, but that's that's the extent you can show it to them in case it's analyzed in them. And then and they, they, feel, grow up. they grow up feeling the need to retaliate. But, you know, that's one thing I'm actually scared of. Like, I mm. hate to watch all of those stuff because I'm scared of actually, as in, being mad about the whole situation right mm -hmm. but the truth is that outside of this apartment there are people there mm -hmm. who were raised to see call or to see call or who were raised to disrespect people who were raised to um still be mean to people and call people the n words and all of that stuff that's it that, 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 that's that's where you have to teach them to be immune to that you teach them to be very sensitive to that, then they will basically hate on anybody that calls hate them. Hate on anybody that calls them that instead of finding a way to diffuse it, instead of not giving it energy and also going about their way. Mm. Okay. And it could also make them be trapped somehow, feeling like, okay, somebody's about to call me this. Whenever she sees people, I usually call people that kind of mean, right? Mm. So she feels like, oh, all right, what is she gonna call me now? What is he gonna call me now? You understand what I mean? They become so apprehensive. But you teach them a way to, how do, how do I put it? If you can teach them a way to be able to, to, to diffuse whatever that is about to come, mm. walk into a place without expecting somebody to say something like that okay walk into a place and assume all of you are one until somebody acts like you're not yes not without the knowledge of it they will always know that hey this could happen but do not expect it you know what i'm saying mm. and always know how to act when that happens don't be angry don't give it energy Focus on your own mission and make sure you accomplish it and do not let anybody disrupt it because you could have a mission. You could have a mission of going to the moon, right? Mm. And on your way, somebody calls you that name, right? Mm. And you turn around and start fighting them and you miss your 
uh, uh, yes, you miss your plane to the moon, and your mission is not accomplished anymore, right? Mm. So you teach somebody how to defuse that. They call you that. Oh yeah, okay. You teach them a way to actually handle it mm. and still be able to get to where they're going and still be able to make their mission possible, to make that goal possible instead of being derailed by somebody. Okay. But Emma, mm. do you understand everything about the slavery now? Uh, it's not something, she, she's not gonna understand everything right now. Mm. It's a slow process. But daddy, can you keep telling gonna, me more? Yeah, I'll be telling you more. <laughs> as long as, <laughs> I should go up. No, but, I don't wanna. Should, but you're not gonna know everything right now, mommy. But daddy, please mm -hmm. trust me, please. Mommy, I myself, I'm grown. I'm too old, and I don't know everything. <laughs> I don't know everything that happened, but I know most things that happened. Okay, okay, Emma, let me tell you. You know it little by little, mommy. You can't know everything right now. That's what I'm saying. Hi, yeah, you. Yes, you're gonna be hey. doing it, Take but you're not gonna hear everything mm -hmm. right Hi. now. Okay. That's the way it goes, it's just little by little, mommy. No, but it okay. takes me, but it will take me. Emma, time. see, if you want to know mm. everything, then you have to have the courage to watch Django Unchained. No, okay. mommy. Okay. <laughs> Your okay. dad is scared of you watching Django okay. Unchained. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it is violent. Okay. It is violent. Yeah, you don't want to expose her to that kind of violence. <laughs> yeah. Can I, please? Mommy, it's R rated. You what can is? watch it. R rated means it's not for kids. Mm. But another thing to do is, if you start from very early, mm. to start expose them to the negative side of all of those things, mm. guess what? They grew up angry. They grew up uh, uh, mad about, mad about every, the whole mad situation. Okay? And sometimes they lose focus of where they're going. That's true. Right? Mm. And they now start feeling like we were being cheated. And every little mistake they make in life, they blame it on that. Yes. But the truth is, you as a young person, mm. yes, your great great grandparents experienced slavery, mm. but no, you did not. That is the reason that you have to grow up. They 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 fought that. The people that experienced it, they fought it, and they changed things. So, they can so, have you, a better so life. that you can have a better life. And now you actually have a better life. It is now your turn to actually make more changes. Still mm -hmm. So that we can keep it the way it is. And the way you make more changes is not by being angry. The way you make changes is by actually understanding what happens then and using it to your own advantage today. But not using it as a way of, hey, you know what? I was treated very definitely you have to pay me for it. No. Mm -hmm. There are ways you can change that. Let's assume that you, you you can work hard and get to where you're going. Let's say you want to be a lawyer. You become a lawyer and you help people and you change things in the local. Mm. That, that's, that's what we want. That's what we want. This nation is a nation of laws. Mm. And if you can change laws related to that to make it even for every but every colored people for everybody to be the same on the same level mm. that's a very big achievement instead of sitting and hoping that hey you know what mm. i get paid for mm. what my great great grandfather's experience mm. um, that's true So Emma, so far, what have you learned from today's story? I want to learn it. What do you want to learn? Mm -hmm. Emma, what have you learned? Day. Mommy, you learned that there was something called slavery in the past. Okay. But Daddy, I want you to tell me more. Yes, you're gonna learn more about this <laughs> as you grow. Okay. 
when you get to seven years old, that I think she will know about slavery. When you get to eight years old, that I think she will know. When you get to nine years old, that I also think she will know. It comes little by little. Daddy, but age, Daddy, but but my but my birthday is all the way on October 9th. Mm. And on your birthday, daddy will tell you more stories about slavery. What? And not only that, daddy will tell you more stories, you will also hear about other things, and your ability to comprehend will change, and you will understand those things at that level that you're supposed to. Mm -hmm. But I want to mm -hmm. learn more. Yeah, you've already learned a lot. <laughs> your mom is about to learn more. I want to learn more. I want to learn more. I want to learn Start. No problem, you're gonna learn more. It's okay. every day you'll be learning, okay? Daddy, just careful. How I also mm -hmm. trust me. <laughs> Does it look like your boyfriend? Mommy, you're learning. Please, Mommy please. don't worry, you're Emma, learning. Emma, how about I tell you another story? Yeah! Okay, it goes like this story, story. When I say story, story, it says story. Story, story. Story. Once upon a time. Once upon a time, you say time, time. Time, time. Yes. <laughs>